Hello friends, my name is Inkeki Precious and welcome to Kali's Design Academy. Kali's Design Academy where I teach how to make shoes and bags both for male and female. In today's class I'll be showing you how to increase and decrease the speed of the post bed machine. It applies to other machine, the cylinder arm, the skyway machine, the flat bed. So it's the same method you can use to either increase or reduce the speed so let's get right into the class so the first thing you notice or you see is this is the head of the machine this is the table then under the table you see a motor it is called a motor it moves then this is the the belt that connects the motor to the wheel of the wheel of the machine so in order for you to reduce the speed of the machine if you notice you will see these two screw this one and this one the one that is above it and the one that is beneath so these two screw are responsible for the speed increasing or decreasing the speed this screw are responsible so the first thing you need to do is when this belt the belt when the belt is slack it means the speed is reduced the machine will be moving slower but when this belt is tight that means the machine will move faster very very fast so for us to let's do the slower one first when you do the slower one this you lose the top screw first lose the top screw up then when you lose the top screw you raise the motor from here when you raise it then you screw this one close to the top screw so the motor will now be like this when you you know hold the belt is a little bit a little bit slack than it was before so in 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 this form it will make the machine to be very very slow so it depends on you it depends on how you want your machine to be faster or slower but the one that we determine so you do it little by little so that you can get to a point where you notice that okay this is my is a comfortable zone for me where i can easily stitch and um, i can easily control the machine so now as we have slacked the belt by taking the screw the bolt screw you take it up the next thing we are going to do is to on the machine for you to see how slow the machine will be so this is how it's going to stitch slowly so because um, you're making it slow you still have to control the speed of the machine with your foot you know on on your presser foot when you when you place your foot on it you still have to uh, press it a little little by little to still help you control the speed of the machine so no matter how you increase or decrease the screw under it you still have to learn how to uh, control the speed with your foot your right foot the next thing for me to show you now is how to increase the speed which means you will reduce take the screw both screws the up and the down will take it down first of all you lose the up lose the down then you drag you just not drag you actually just um, push the motor downwards so you tighten the screw then the machine will be faster so this is it Take this one downwards, it down, take it downwards to make the the belt to be tighter. 
and take this one down. So now after increasing the speed, you don't need to press the presser foot, you don't need to put your leg and press it so hard for the for the machine to pick. So because the belt is tight, it will pick easily and to put faster. So if you don't control it with your foot and with your hand and you don't reduce the speed those two screws, you might damage your leather or whatever you're sewing, your stitching. So if you just press it, it's very very fast. So you can see it's very very easy, you can do it at home, you can um, adjust your machines, but if you feel you, it will be something that will be difficult for you to do, you can call an engineer, somebody that has an experience in fixing machines to come and help you do it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up so that comment if you have any question you can send it on the comment box i'll always be there to answer all your questions please please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share the links give me a thumbs up so that other people can be able to see my video thank you for watching bye for now